uh, the Asian Awards Public Servant of the Year. She's a one-woman crime-fighting machine whose efforts have led to find trafficking victims throughout her home country, leading to over 1,000 arrests. Let's take a look at some of her work. As one of the highest ranking officers in the Nepal police force, she has used her position to both tackle organized crime and educate her force on how best to help those most vulnerable. As superintendent in the Central Investigation Bureau of Nepal between 2013 and 2015, she was responsible for the arrest of approximately 1,200 criminals in the largest crackdown on human trafficking. Today, she continues her work as district police chief and in 2016, she was awarded the Prabal Jansiwa Shri Medal for Outstanding Performance by the President of Nepal. During her time on the force, she has created handbooks for junior members of the force about how to recognize and approach women that may be at risk of human trafficking, while checkpoints and searches have helped limit the movement of victims throughout the country. It's a tangible impact that last year led to her inclusion as a U.S. Department of State Trafficking in Persons Report hero, an accolade that couldn't have been more deserved. Tonight, however, she's here to receive the Asian Award for Public Servant of the Year. And the winner is Kiran Bhajacharya. But if Nepal is seen as the wild west of human trafficking, then this lawbringer is most definitely the sheriff. Good evening, distinguished guests, ladies and gentlemen. It's, it's an honor and proud moment for me to accept this award, Asian Award, in, in front of special personalities who have achieved so much success in their lives. I grew up in a very small town of Nepal where I've seen different forms of gender-based gender violence and serious forms of human trafficking, so th which is strongly rooted in my country. From the age of my adolescent, I wanted to be the part of access to justice for this vulnerable group, which, which, was my, which became my passion, also drives me to join the police. in Nepal police. So during my entire police work, apart from other regular police, I focus my job, my duty, to work for the women and children. I carried out several trainings, especially self-defense training for the potential victim of earthquake Zone, especially in Bhaktipur, where I was the district commander, to the community, and also the college, and also the student, student of school students. Similarly, I also investigated numerous number of cases of human trafficking where I busted huge number of human traffickers which were involved in transnational and organized crime it has became. I also revealed the new and emerging trend of human trafficking in my country. So these all work perhaps brought me to stand in front of you. Here, I would like to dedicate this award to my fellow police officer, my organization who gave me 
great opportunity, platform to work in this issue. Also, my mother, without her, without her support, without their support, I wouldn't be here in front of you. So, this award, as I'm coming, as I'm traveling from Nepal, it's a inspirable, it's a very huge inspiration, as well as the message for those officers and those potential victims, and also the civil society that will, this award will always inspire me to fight and stand against this serious crime of human trafficking. Thank you once again, SN Award, and all the distinguished guests to visiting me. Thank you.